They are the millennials, a massive and diverse generation of young Americans with the potential to shape the upcoming presidential race as they did for Barack Obama. But are they as united and as motivated to influence the election this time? This presidential election has been a little scary. I'm feeling very excited about it as well, so it's a lot of emotions that I have. The Associated Press spoke with young voters ages 18 to 34 in a few swing states where they could have a big impact in November and found that their top issues in this campaign are far from monolithic. Economic opportunities, education, and probably national security. Women's rights. Campaign finance reform. The national debt. Our education system. Recent surveys confirm that beyond a common concern about access to and the cost of education and a general disdain for labels, like millennials, this generation is difficult to peg this time around. Amen. Take Christy and Bill Clay, young parents who live in a conservative rural town outside Columbus, Ohio. Christy Clay names her opposition of gay marriage and abortion as top concerns, yet she's still leaning toward Hillary Clinton, whose views on those issues don't match those of her and her husband. Marriage and abortion could be deciding factors, but when you look at all of the factors, it can be difficult to just say, you know, it would make or break who I would vote on. Because I may not agree with them on some things, but you have to look at the big picture. Bill Clay, meanwhile, has what some would call more liberal views on immigration. If we're going to try to be Christian-like and, and embrace people, I, I don't think you can shut the borders to an entire group of people just because of a fear that some of them don't like us. Though he voted for Barack Obama twice, he was a Marco Rubio supporter in these primaries and is undecided for November. I don't feel that we have a solid candidate for either party that is really strong. Oh. There's a worry that young people, including the many fired up for Democrat Bernie Sanders, simply won't vote. In Denver, Deanna Downard, who's working to engage young voters in her state, doesn't think that will happen and has shifted her own support from Sanders to Clinton. Millennials at times have been described as potentially apathetic, but they're absolutely not. And millennials have a very, like, nuanced understanding of the political world. An understanding that may not lead to the same choice of candidate, says one Donald Trump supporter in Florida who's soon to be married. I love the idea that there is no cohesiveness when it comes to being a millennial. I think the, the, the spectrum is so much that we have people from one side to the other, and that's beautiful. Though he considers himself socially liberal, Trip Nistico, a recent law school graduate in Colorado, is also behind Trump. Especially on college campuses, I've seen a lot of conservative speakers been shut out because there's threats of political violence. I mean, it's definitely worrisome if we're going to find solutions together as a country. In Las Vegas, 18-year-old Brian Tillett soon will be casting his first presidential vote. It means a lot to me personally because it, I'm basically making a difference in my life and in the country. So my vote does matter. Whether other young Americans feel that same passion about this election remains to be seen. Martha Irvin, Associated Press.